So after Tabassum Wine, I have another trusty candidate from Brampton and we invited him to Toronto 360 TV and he is Mr. Ali Khamer. Ali Khamer is a chartered accountant by the profession and he take his all, most of the education in the Peel District School Board. So today he invi we invited him. Ali Khamer, thank you for coming to Toronto 360 Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having me here. Okay. So uh, Ali, tell me that uh, some things about yourself because people want to know, our audience want to know that. Who is Mr. Ali Khamer? Well, my name is Ali Khamer. I grew up in Mississauga. I came here at the age of 11 uh, in 1997. I went to the schools through here. Obviously, as a first generation Canadian, we all struggle. We all face challenges. And this is not something unique to me. It is a common story for all of us. Mm -hmm. When I struggled, in my initial years, uh, I was bullied to a point that I decided to go to a different high school three years later, mm -hmm. meaning I had to change my direction. And one of the reasons we have that issue is because it's not that the parents don't want to fight for the students, or it's not that they don't want to raise the issues, it's how we do it. As a trustee, our role and responsibility is to work directly with the residents, the community, the neighbors, and the families to ensure that we advocate for policies that reflects the needs of the students, the parents, the community, and the neighbor. And that is essentially the most important advocacy to create a safe learning environment for not only my children, but all of our children in the community, in Brampton, in School of Peel. Excellent. Uh, so Ali, the, I, I'm sure that uh, you, during your education time, you faced a lot of challenges as well, right? So what are the, some major issues that uh, you yourself also feel that challenges, right? Face those challenges. And uh, when you're knocking the door and nowadays and, and what you're hearing from the parents as well. It's one thing that you know we are aware that there are systematic barriers and challenges in schools with relation to specifically discrimination and inequality amongst children of color mm -hmm. and that is a fact-based research and and uh, there was action taken about two years ago by the ministry because there were so many recorded and documented issues for me when I struggled with racism or bullying, that was 25 years ago. And today I'm a chartered accountant. I forgot about all those issues. But what resonated is when my own two children go to school here, it became really important because I invested in their education. I invested in their betterment. As a father, I have learned how to navigate and, re and fight, the re uh, fight the system when needed. But I don't think every parent is able to. Not that they don't want to, but they don't know how to. And as you know, as we grow um, uh, within our first generation Canadians that have come from different lands and different places, we do realize that approximately 48% of Peel students are, uh, are from South Asian background. There are challenges that are extremely relevant that were there 25 years ago and they are today as well and for that reason if i can fight for my children and if you are capable democracy only works when capable people step up and give their services back to the community and that is what my intention is that is why i'm running as a school board trustee in brampton some one of the challenges uh, ali that I feel, especially you are living in the Brampton, right? And uh, in the schools, every school, there's a drug is used, right? And outside, uh, the, in the high schools, especially the drugs are selling outside the schools as well. And uh, there's no policies. I didn't see that any policies on the, uh, on the trustee level that how to control these issues. And because, uh, because the, the federal and pro provincial laws protect those type of cannabis. Cannabis is now uh, all over the c country, right? Is is legal. You cannot stop if somebody is selling beside your school even. So so these things is coming, I see more in the Brampton and Mississauga is increasing now. In every high school, this is an issue. 
Absolutely. And this is not a new issue, yes. right? I don't have the statistics behind it, but I can tell you intuitively, mm -hmm. yes, when legalization happens, when uh, even before that, mm -hmm. all the, you know, before I was in school, when before the legalization, everything was accessible within school. Yeah. It's very difficult for school administrators to fight that without the intervention of local government, municipalities, and the police force. Mm -hmm. So the intervention is required at a different level, but as we learn about the schools and, and the area I'm going to be functioning in, mm -hmm. if those are the issues that are prevalent in the schools that we are at, mm -hmm. we need to raise that to the, to the higher, higher government. Mm -hmm. So as a trustee, you hold the board accountable mm -hmm. and the trustees are held accountable by the Minister of Education. Okay. And for me, having a safe learning environment mm -hmm. does not only mean equity in classroom, mm -hmm. but also having a safe learning environment from other, ex uh, other usage, whether it's drugs, smoking, or any of that factor. Mm -hmm. There is a need to implement uh, stringent control it won't be in schools. It has to be outside of schools. So what we need to do as a community, we need to advocate that if we have um, an issue rising within a certain pocket, mm -hmm. we need to make sure that the levels of government that are accountable to enforce, whether it's the age limit of consumption mm -hmm. or purchase, those are being reflected and being controlled. That's the only way, that's one of the major critical ways mm -hmm. how to address this. So, so this is this is definitely on the on a school level and different um, government level. People have to work together to really resolve this issue, and it's not an easy issue. It's gone ongoing since you are the uh, you are taking the education in the pale board, and but this is a challenge, right? So one of the issues uh, which is I feel that in the peel is also increasing because the diverse teachers are coming in and they are coming from their background, right? They have their own mindset as well. And, and, the, and the children are there and they are also from different part of the community. So there are a lot of discrimination that people, children is complaining about. She didn't give me the number because she is this, right? I am this, that's why, right? This type of children I saw that they are complaining about. I hate that teacher, right? Something like that. So how the policy on the trustee level makes sure that uh, the teachers are also monitored, they are doing the right thing uh, when they are marking any children, not on the basis of their background, they are discriminating some sort of, how you monitor those things? So the discrimination, if I understood your question correctly, yeah. is the teachers that are and coming new as first generation, yeah. they have a certain bias yes. with the students that are in the system. Yep. As, as a trustee, we need to hold the administration accountable to make sure that first of all we should be we should have hiring practices that enable teachers of all backgrounds mm -hmm. in the system mm -hmm. because that is a reflection of the demographics mm -hmm. in the school mm -hmm. which is needed which is needed definitely. how we how we curtail or how we address the issue mm -hmm. of any kind of bias mm -hmm. by a teacher we need to definitely raise that and the only two ways to deal with that is first of all, identifying the problem and creating a statistics behind it. Mm -hmm. If there are issues that are prevalent in a certain community, a certain school, mm -hmm. what a trustee needs to be doing is be accessible to that parent council, be, a, be accessible to the student trustee yeah. to make sure that those voices and concerns are being heard and reflected in the policy in the direction we need to take as a board. Mm -hmm. And that is where this starts from, and this is how you curtail it. Mm -hmm. And on an ongoing basis, as you know, uh, Peel District School Board was under a watch for the last two years yep. because of systematic racism and inequality That's right. with, pieces of, uh, with, with people of color. Mm -hmm. And the way this is being addressed is there are 27 directives and part of those directives are also measuring the outcomes, measuring and monitoring the actions that are being taken from complaints such as this. Mm -hmm. So we have great policies on paper. Papers. And, and paper. But what about the implementation? How do we implement that and how yeah. do we raise? Or monitor them. Most important thing is, yes, implementation maybe see, but the monitoring is not 
end up there, right? Yeah. So how do we bring that accountability? How do we bring that change? Mm -hmm. We need a change in representation. Mm -hmm. I am running against somebody who's been there for over 19 years. Okay. When I was basically in school. Oh, uh, yeah. 19 years for a, for, for a representation in the same capacity is way too long. Mm -hmm. For education, you need progress. Mm -hmm. You need a change in ideas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a change in vision does not necessarily mean that you fight the old system. Rather, you create a new vision. Mm -hmm. My vision is that we live in a society which has multiple... Um, generation of different, you know, we have first generation Canadians, we have we have my children who are born here now, living in a multi generational house. They have a different way of upbringing and different different socio cultural impact versus other people that are in school. We need to have policies that reflect the needs of our community. Mm -hmm. And the way you do it, you build a new vision for a better change. You need to make sure that you elect people that are capable that have a voice, that have experiences within the education system, that have fought within the system and have succeeded in the system. Because the only way that you bring about a meaningful change is when you have students who were, who were here in, uh, within the schooling system who have experienced those struggles and fought those struggles and succeeded in life. And how we go back is support supporting those candidates like myself that I truly believe that I want to be I want to be raising voices for all of our children not only my children for me I am capable of fighting and raising voice for my own children but not every parent is mm -hmm. not every student is aware mm -hmm. and for that we need a sincere leadership that brings that meaningful vision and we can't have a trustee for 19 years. You elect them again, that's a quarter century. Mm -hmm. This is not how education moves forward. So one of the, one of the challenges definitely is there, and you rightly mentioned that, and uh, uh, that uh, we have to modernize our schools and we have to bring the new initiative really, and uh, change is required every time because the whole, uh, we are living in a most... Uh, uh, era where we we are living in an era of wireless era we are living in a digital era we are living in an era where artificial intelligence is working everywhere so we are living in a in an era which where the humanity never saw this era before so but we we see that in the school is still there are so many practices going on which is not required really in today's world so there's no one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Never, there is never a strategy that was one size fits all. Mm -hmm. uh, that that we understand mm -hmm. from the different practice, even in the corporate culture, there's never a one size fits yeah, all. Yeah, definitely. But the Slowly. overarching team has to be correct. You need to have the right leadership to bring that vision to mm -hmm. the students, to to the school administration. You have to work cohesively together with the parent council. If you're saying accessibility to let's say cell phones in school, mm -hmm. is that a reason of is, is that is that a reason of a problem? Mm -hmm. Maybe there's policies that we do require that require more enforcement in terms of how we use it, uh, not monitoring it, rather how we use it. It's, you know, like great technology uh, enables us to do great things, but the same technology can also hinder learning environment. If there is a hindrance in, in, in learning and safety of our children and our teachers, that is definitely a policy that needs to be reviewed and reflected. And that is one of the main platforms that I have is fighting bullying has actually evolved mm -hmm. because now there's cyber bullying as well. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, you, know, you know, there are recorded incidents where people um, of the same school are facing issues and challenges, let's say even things like online gaming. This is not even school environment. Mm -hmm. This is from your home and how people are partnering up with them or how they're being sidelined. How do we address that even outside of school? One of the things that we need to do is come up with a way, how do we hold parents accountable and train them? Yeah, the parents and the teacher have to, and the whole trustee and everything have to work together. Yeah. Without working together, you cannot resolve Absolutely. the issues of everything. What's the message you want to give your voter? So on October 24th, my name is Ali Kamar. I am running as your school board trustee. Mm -hmm. I live in the ward. My own two children go to school here. I went to Peel School myself. Mm -hmm. Today, 
I am running because I want to give back to my community, my neighbors, my city. And this is in, in, in return with services, which is, as a school board trustee, I want to be able to raise the voice, vocalize, and advocate for all of our community. And number top three issues, equity has to be priority. We fight for all, uh, for all, all students. And this is something which we think that we have gone beyond and we have addressed it. This is not true. Two years ago, we know how uh, you know the, the outcome of the Peel Board study, where 2,000 people participated and there were documented issues with racism and inequality. Having a safe learning environment is the most important and critical aspect on any ch for any children's uh, potential. For my job, my 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 platform is to ensuring that we provide a safe learning environment which enables all of our children to reach their full potential. And lastly, there are children with different abilities. There are children that are high achievers. How do we enable the use of technology to ensure that they are able to rise and thrive in this uh, developing um, you know, culture and social aspects with the use of technology? That is what I'm running for, and I'm hoping that I will be a trustee that is accessible, that is available, that actually listens to the parents' concerns and raises it to the board. So my name is Ali Kumar, and I do hope that you go out and vote on October 24th. Thank you, Ali Kumar, and we wish you best of luck that in the upcoming election, you are become the trustee of Ward 1 and 5 from Brampton. Thank you for having me here and always available. So I hope that you like the pro today's program as well. We, do, we try our best to introduce uh, the pupils who are running for the councils, towns, and the cities uh, as a mayor, as a trustee, or as a counselor. And I hope that you enjoy the program of today and you get a lot of information from these candidates. Inshallah, next week, Arif Jahangiri will join with the community talks as well. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.